All right, 2009 Chevy Malibu. Uh, doesn't really matter the trim package and stuff like that, but we're gonna change the little trunk button here. Um, mine, you have to like wiggle it like crazy to press it in. So let's talk a little bit about the tools you'll need and how to take this door panel off here so that we can get down to that little trunk button. Okay, so here's a lot of what you'll need. This is just a drill with a T25 bit. So like the star type bit, um, there'll be four of those. Uh, 10 millimeter socket. You gotta have a deep socket or a longer socket or something with an extension. These are just two pry tools. Uh, specifically, you'll it'd be helpful to have one of the ones with a little U-shape in it. And then this bigger one is great for pressing off the door panel. Uh, this flathead screwdriver's not really needed, but it's nice to have to pick and pry a couple things. And then here is your GM genuine part number, 158-35338, uh, your trunk button little trunk button there. So let's get started. Okay, first thing that needs to be removed, pry back right there. It's gonna make a loud noise and scare you. There's a little cover. Let's see, there is a little 10 millimeter bolt right there. And very short bolt, we'll back it out. Try to be quick about it. Come on now. Just a little bitty guy there. Okay, your next thing to get out, get this little piece of plastic out there. And the lighting's not great, but there's two T25 bolts there. Get your drill, put it in reverse. There's one. There's two. All right, and you kind of pinch right here, lift up, not too far up though, you'll, or you'll break a hook over here and kind of pull it out. And then there's two more T25 bolts right there. Uh, you do not need to disconnect any of the wires except for the truck button there. <clears throat> so here we are removing these two T25 bolts. Took my bit with it. You get the picture, we'll skip this one. Okay, so that's all the major hardware. We've got two of these like little push button tabs here. I'm gonna use that bolt. You poke the center dot and that kind of presses in like that and that kind of disengages them. Oh boy, that one's in there pretty good. It'll go in about, I don't know, eighth of an inch or something. And then this is where this is really handy having this pry tool. You could do this with a flathead, but we pull that out. Don't launch it too far. It'll kind of break if they're pretty cheap. But we pry these two out right there. And then <clears throat> on this front door, we're gonna use this heavier pry tool. First spot you go to is right here on this triangle. There is that tab right there. And then you just slowly work your way all the way around this door. See if we can get it in frame here. Okay. And you'll just hear pops as you go along. They're just little push tabs in there, popcorn tabs. But that's all that's holding it in there besides this hook right there. There we go. Just be, pry hard, but be easy with it, obviously. <laughs> That's kind of an oxymoron. Right, you'll get it, and it'll come right off. Lift it over your locking mechanism or your locking tab. And that, that's it, door's off. You don't have to unhook any other wires except for this trunk one, which we'll get a little closer look at. Okay. There it is back right there. Mine has the red wire. Needle nose pliers are really helpful in this instance as well, because there's a bunch of tabs on the outside of it that need to be pressed down and pushed 
forward like towards the button and this is going to be really fun to do one-handed but we'll get it come on now come on there goes one up oh, and i just clicked it all right get out of there go forward Okay, that took a little bit of doing, but you can see the two tabs on the outside that you got to squeeze in. Uh, just don't get in a hurry. Yell at it. Scream at it. It's an, it's an inanimate object. It doesn't care. Um, funny enough, it started working <laughs> when I messed with it a little bit. But there is this outside circular cover that has to come off. And the way you do that is there's these two little... See if it'll focus on there. On the inside, there's two more of these little things that need to be pinched down, and you slip that over it. All right, so I totally, I, I took the little cover off right there, but uh, when I was doing that, I ripped the old one apart, so uh, be careful. Yeah, not that we wouldn't normally do that. Let's... Okay, a reminder that you need your little plastic cover on there. Slip this in here with the tabs lined up with it. All right. That's not really in there the way I want it. it. Needs to go a little farther. Where are we at? Maybe that's it. There it goes. It's supposed to kind of sit in there like that. And then plug in. I hear it clicking, so at least this one here is a good one. And then you just press it in, test it again, and we're going to put everything back together the way it was put in. Yep. All right, so one more thing when putting it back together, when you're putting those little tabs back in, these little holes on the side here, uh, you kind of press it out where the button is sticking up just a little bit and you slowly press it in with your fingers on the outside not touching that middle button you slip it in there and then press that button flush and that's supposed to lock it in there all the other stuff are bolts or screws and go in pretty self-explanatory you know for anyone who feels like they can redo a button on their car all right be careful with these and good luck out there y'all